Hello everyone from Mediacom Sucks webpage. Um, just to let you know, I have figured something out and uh, I want to tell you that Mediacom doesn't suck all that bad if you know what you're looking for. Um, this little video tutorial thing is going to show you how to take back control of your router. Alright, so when you go to try and control your router and you try and make settings such as port forwarding or some kind of restrictions or anything like that, you get redirected out to a, a horrible, horrible interface, and that's what this tutorial is going to be. I'm going to show you how to fix that. So, without further ado, let me minimize myself down here to the corner. Let's get started. So, when you first open up your website, http colon slash slash 192.168.0.1, this is my local internal thing, you get presented with this. And yes, you can log into this, you can go and do your little changes, but I've noticed that this does not update. It is a horrible, horrible interface, and it does not work. It doesn't allow me to do monitoring. I can't do port forwarding correctly. Just doesn't work. So, what are we going to do to fix that? All right. Up here in your address bar, you're going to type out your home IP address, whatever whatever your router IP is, 192.168.0.1. Don't hit enter. You're going to hit forward slash, type out administration, administration.asp, and you're going to hit enter. What this is going to do is going to redirect you to the actual internal thing. Now, I've already reset my username and password, but up here at the top, this username and password, it's going to be default blank blank. It's not going to be set. They didn't set anything because they have their nice little interface to do it for you. So, I'm going to pull this off to the side so you can't see mine. Hope you can't see mine. There we go. Once you're logged in, you now have full control over your wireless, your securities, your gaming and applications, everything. Everything that you didn't have control over before, you now have control over. You can also do logging. You can log all the traffic coming in and out of your ports. You can log everything on your internet traffic. So, I'm not saying that if you're a user and you don't understand what this means, go and like play with these settings. You need to understand what this stuff is before getting this deep. But, this is what you need. Okay, I was trying to set up a Minecraft server, a website, and all kinds of other stuff on my internal network, and my port forwarding was not working. It shows on the website that I, uh, my device is there, and it's updated, and then I go and check it, and it did not work. That's because the port forwarding inside these screens was not set. So, remember, go 192.168.0.1, or whatever your home IP address is, forward slash administration.asp. This is going to let you into the actual Cisco interface that is on your router, or you could possibly have a Linux router, but I think they got bought by Cisco anyway, so it doesn't matter. Again, this is uh, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Um, if you'd like or subscribe or you want to see m more of my videos, click on the links below. Thanks, and have a great night.